Learning more about a wanted man accused of pulling a gun on Omaha police. Yeah, this happened Wednesday night. Police say 27-year-old Kyler Palma took off in a car with stolen plates, crashed it at 144th and Center. Police say showed a gun, tried to run away. Officers used a taser to take him down. No one was hurt. Now, we actually talked with Palma back in 2014 about drug addiction. KTV News Watch 7 Sarah Feely investigates. In 2014, Kyler Palma told us he'd had enough in rehab for his addiction. I was so addicted to him that I couldn't go eight hours without starting to feel sick and your whole body just weak. 18 at the time, he told us he got help before he moved from pills to heroin, something easy to get on the streets. It's not very hard to find. But over the next few years, court records show Palma was jailed for several drug charges. In 2015, Palma was arrested for a road rage incident that ended with a SWAT standoff at a home. Drugs are at the core of much of our violence and crime. Court records show warrants for missed court dates. In September 2022, he walked away from a work release program. Courts issuing a warrant for his arrest to charge him with escape. Wednesday, Omaha police say he pointed a gun at officers trying to arrest him as he took off in a stolen car. And they say he crashed into one of their police cruisers last month, now facing multiple charges. Drugs are, are one of the main drivers of, uh, of crime. Um, People will steal, people will victimize, people will do terrible things to help feed their addiction. Substance abuse counselor Jamie Walker says a story like Palma's is not uncommon. He knows because he lived it. Well, I am a three-time felon myself. Uh, I used to be an alcoholic and then I switched my addictions to methamphetamines. So I've been in and out of prison myself, state, federal. He now works at Bailey Counseling Services. Statistics show it could take someone battling addiction 11 attempts at sobriety before success. It's a cycle. It's, it's, it's what we do. It's, we don't usually get it on our first time. It might take three or four times. He stresses that drug users are making bad decisions but are not bad people. He says trauma may influence the decision to keep using, but using creates more trauma. There is a better way. Um, the Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous program saved my life. Walker says there is hope for people like Palma. For me, it was my desire. That, that's the only uh, difference between the old, old me and the new me is, is my desires there. I want to be sober today. Sarah Feely reporting Palma's being held at Douglas County Jail, $100,000 bond and being held on 20 charges plus four warrants. Now, Walker encourages anyone who's struggling to reach out. Their service has space to see new clients.